So we went through the digitization workflow for the first item in our list last time. And one thing I did that uh, you'll want to do for future items when you finish them is set the status to complete. So you can see this as complete and I set that by clicking the set complete button here. That's helpful if you are sort of not completing a list in one sitting. So if you're sort of back and forth to the desk or occupied by something else and you're coming back to this list later, you can see which things you've already completed um, and which ones still need to have work done. You can also, if you are sitting down and completing everything at once, um, you can click select all and then uh, change the status from ready to processing to complete and that will update the status for every item. So if you're planning to just get everything done in one sitting, um, that's probably a faster way to change the status. And notice that when I do this, if I choose complete, I have to click the change status button. If I just switch it from the drop down menu and then close, it's not going to actually update. So uh, make sure you click the change status button. Okay, so we're not doing that right now because we do still have work to do. Uh, the second item is a physical item. It has an alert, so I'm going to click and see that this time it's a note. And if I want to see what notes exist on an item, um, I can click edit and then go to notes, and then I can see what those notes are. So this one has a little back and forth between us, uh, the main one being from the instructor uh, that says, please place on two hour reserve. Um, and that's about it. Uh, I can add new notes by clicking on new note and then typing it in and hitting add. So I still have to, for this citation, since it's something they want in two hour reserve, I need to go get the book. So I need to go find it. Um, the information again is here for us. So we know what the call number is, but so we just need to go locate it and then actually change and update the status uh, so that it's on two hour reserve. And then once you've done that, you can set this item to complete as well. The next item on the list is not physical. So that means it's another type of resource, probably electronic. If I click Other, um, you can see that it has uh, a link here. Now, sometimes, and this seems to be a little variable, um, a resource will get picked up and be listed as electronic. Uh, sometimes it shows up under other. So wherever you see the number or the resource uh, number being populated, that's where you have to take a look. There's a little yellow button and it says other. And when I click on it, it tells me it's a link. Now I can test this link and let's go over um, and look and see what that looks like in Leganto. For electronic links, it's probably best to click the view on Leganto button and then jump over there to see how they're working. So I'm going to jump over here because I've already got it open and I'm going to click this view online link and you can see that it's taking me right through to the article which is great so there it is I can um, read it here or I can download the PDF and that's essentially what we want to do so this is working appropriately um, if it weren't working appropriately so if you saw that um, the view online link is taking you not to this article but to another article um, that's where we would have to edit the record and fix the link and we can do that by um, uh, updating that in Alma or we can update it even here but let's go back to Alma right now and, and look at that there so if this was the incorrect link um, I could edit this and you can see that um, the source is right here it's a big not so particularly nice source um, but I could change that uh, to a different URL if I thought that URL was not functioning properly, if it was not taking me to the right place. So um, let's go and see if I can... Uh, I'll leave it for now, uh, so I don't want to have to go dig up the actual link for it. But uh, if you had to, this is where you would change it, and then you could, um, you could save it up here once you've updated the link. Uh, in another article, I'll find an actual good example of a broken link that we can fix and take a look at some common errors. Okay, so since I found that this link is actually working properly and I don't need to change it, uh, I'm going to set this to complete. So now I've got three things and only a couple things left. So the next thing on the list you can see doesn't have anything. So this one is physical, this one is physical. 
Um, this one has an other because we scanned something and put up a file. This one has an other because it's a link. But this one has nothing. So um, that indicates to me that this is probably a ZPR item. So because we don't own a copy of it, of course there's no physical or electronic signature for it. So uh, if I click on the alert, again, it tells me there's a note. And if I hit edit and go to the notes tab, you can see um, a comment that says, I'll drop this off for reserve. One day loan is fine. And then you'll know that this is going to be sent in to, uh, to, to reserve. This is at PR. So at this stage, we have to get the item, as we used to do. And we have to create a ZPR record. As we used to do so that's still gonna happen and um, and yeah and that's about it so I'm gonna once we've done that I can set that to complete I'll look at um, a little bit more closely the ZPR process here um, after but right now we just want to say okay we've done the work it's a ZPR let's set it to complete and then the last one is this one here so another other in this case it looks like a URL to an external site uh, all again, I want to do is make sure that this is opening to what it's supposed to be opening and that it seems to be a reliable site. As always, if it's uh, linking to somewhere that um, you're not sure about, um, it looks like um, you know if there might be an issue with sharing that link, um, we can deal with that situation as it arises. But this obviously from Scholarship at U Windsor, it's a thesis, it looks fine. Um, so I am going to from set to complete. So at this point, what I've assumed is um, I've made the ZPR record, I've done scanning and digitization, I've relocated any physical items that need to be relocated, and as a result, all of the items in my list have the complete status, which is great. So that means that we've done our work. So now what we want to do is change the status of the list. So at the top here, it says ready for processing. We can update this to complete. And then we can also change this. The publication status is draft right now. So again, if the publication status is not published, it's not visible to students. So that's the thing that you have to remember. Um, the faculty member can publish it on their end, but it's always useful if we're finished with it um, and it's been sent to us to send this, set this to anyone restricted. And that means it's going to be published for anyone but any uh, digitized items or anything that's copyrighted will be restricted uh, and so that people can't access it who are not you know, legitimately in the course or someone who should be able to access it. So I'm gonna save all this work I've done. Always remember to save. And that means that once that does save, that this list is, if I take a look at the status now, the list is complete and um, even though there's alerts on it, it is, uh, those are from today, that will, those alerts will expire. Um, it's basically done. So let's go back and look at what this is uh, now, what that looks like from uh, the faculty member's end. So if I refresh this list, you can now see the status is published and any, the note says, any authenticated student can see the list and access some of its materials. Copyright restrictions may apply. Guests can see the list. Um, access to materials is restricted. So it's set up appropriately and published under those conditions. Um, you can see that all the readings are, uh, oop, right now the readings are set to being prepared, which means I must have forgotten something. So let's go back here and work on and ah, see I forgot to save something important lesson accidental one <laughs> so I'm gonna save time here by selecting everything and changing the status from being prepared to complete and changing the status and now you can see that it's um, complete for all the items and I'm gonna hit save okay so now when I go back here and I refresh my list this time you can see now they're all complete. So an important lesson and why you need to save those changes that you're making. So I had switched them, but I had forgot to save them. So um, now this is complete, 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 complete. That's great. 
and um, the list is published. So this means that this list is live and active. So um, the faculty member can see it, see it, the student can see it when they go to the list in Blackboard um, or wherever. Um, yeah, and we're ready to go.